Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am going to get myself figured out here on my computer so that I can see your comments coming in. Hi, Rhonda. I think you're the first one that popped on tonight. Welcome. Where's my, there it is. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Welcome. So yeah, Saturday. Oh, I've got hairs flying around. Do you guys ever get those little errant hairs that fly around your face and tickle you? Yes. Rhonda from Hubertus, Wisconsin. Uh, my brother used to live in, oh, what was that place by Slinger? Some place down there. Yeah. Now he lives in West Bend. Is that right? No, Menominee, <laughs> Menominee Falls. <laughs> I don't know where my brother lives. <laughs> last I heard he was supposed to go to Mexico last Tuesday. I don't know if he went or not, but um, yeah. I hope whatever he did, he's safe and well, right? Hi, Karen. Hi, Julie. I've got two Julies. Julie from North Dakota. Welcome. So it's actually snowing out right now. It's crazy because it looks super sunny out. Well, it's starting to cloud up, I guess. It wouldn't be snowing. It can't. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm a little frazzled. I don't know why. It's kind of crazy. Hi, Amy, Noreen. I see Sally coming in. Jody, welcome. All right, here comes all my messages. I had a little delay there. So what did you guys do today? Hi, Kathy Miller. Kathy Miller is, um, first of all, she was my first recruit ever. So she has been a team member for 15 years on my team. And I see Cindy coming in. She's also on my team. And Jody was on my team. Lots of people coming in that are on my team. Debbie, here comes Debbie. She's also a team member. But um, Kathy Miller, I was working on my welcome Easter kits all day. Kathy was going to come over and help me yesterday, but I wasn't ready yet. And so I was doing it on my own today. Can I just say that you do a better job than I do? <laughs> I had to like go back twice because I forgot to put um, ovals in. Tw I lay out 27 at a time and package them up. I forgot to put ovals in all those. So I had to open the package up and stick the ovals in. And then there was, oh, and then I cut double the amount of cardstock that I needed from one of the cards. <laughs> yeah, so um, Kathy, I really missed you today. <laughs> yep, because you are my sanity. She like is like this with those kits. She's amazing. <laughs> Haley was here all day. I just saw her pop on. Um, Haley is designing country club swap cards for me. And can I just say it? they're pretty amazing. Like I'm so excited to have her here working um, with me for me. It's a nice um, distraction because usually I'm all alone all the time you know except for Steve popping in once in a while to make some smart comment but Steve worked on Haley's old bedroom all day we had a guy come in and take the texture off the walls paint and put in the laminate flooring or the wood laminate flooring and then Steve came in and he's touching up all the things that the guy didn't do um, I'm super picky about stuff and there's just things that make me a little crazy and like when you put the light when you put the outlet plate back on the wall and there's a clearly a crack like you can see a hole next to the outlet panel like why didn't you fix that <laughs> are you guys like that because I'm like that like I don't know I just feel like if I'm paying somebody to do work for me I want them to do do it right <laughs> I hope he never watches me <laughs> He's a super nice guy. I really like him, but it's like, oh. Yeah, so anyways, and Steve said he really doesn't mind. So Steve goes around and touches up paint because the guy puts one coat of paint on and sometimes it's not enough. So Steve goes in after him and touches things up. He did the same thing in our laundry room when he redid it. Gene shared three times. Thank you so much, Gene. Um, if you can, click on that share button. For me, that really helps me out. It helps my business grow and it gets the word out. Um, Donna says they did that in her house too. I know, right? So, and here's another funny thing, and now I'm getting a little pissy, but, um, <laughs> so.
So we had two phone jacks where you plug in a phone jack in this bedroom upstairs. And I, I didn't even know there were two in there, but there were two phone jacks in that bedroom. And so when I, I would pop in and out as he was working just to see the progress because I love to see the changes, right? And I walked in one time and he had all the outlet plates off and those phone jacks were like still on the wire but hanging out of the wall, you know? And um, I looked at those and he had already done all the mudding to like fix any imperfections in the wall. He had to mud over all the little um, texture things he had to take out. And he was all done with that. And I looked at those and I'm like, yeah, I don't want those anymore. We don't need phone jacks in bedrooms. And I thought... Wouldn't that be kind of smart for you to have asked me? Do you, hey, do you still want these phone jacks? Because while I got the mud out, I can certainly like patch them and cover the hole, right? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done complaining. But you know what I mean, you guys, right? Like if you're going to do something, do it right. So anyways, we have some winners from our Facebook Live yesterday. And can I just say that this is like probably... One of the very bright spots in my day is like, okay, I got all my all my cardstock kit part. I don't I'm not done with the kits because it's it's a lot of work, but I got all the cut cardstock layers in packages. Um, and then I thought, okay, I have to get in my room and figure out what are we gonna stamp tonight for Facebook Live. And so that's like a really bright spot in my day because I'm like scrambling around and trying to figure out what we're gonna do and what am I gonna show you and um, so it's really fun for me too and I know you guys are saying that you're enjoying it so I'm glad to hear that when you start getting sick of me let me know but as of right now as long as we are in this kind of lockdown I am planning on doing Facebook live every day I don't know when I'm not going to schedule myself for a time because that just makes it too difficult but you'll get a little notification like I've been given 10-15 minutes I'll be on live um, and you can always watch the replay. And somebody said, who just said something here? Da, da, da. Ask ahead of time. Well, I don't think of all the things, Marsha, to ask him ahead of time. But because I didn't even realize there was phone jacks in that room. So for me to have said, hey, I want these phone jacks out, I didn't even realize they were there. But there were other things that kind of happened, too, that made me go, hmm. <laughs> just like that. Hmm. Like I told him two weeks ahead of time which flooring I wanted. I sent him a picture of all the, you know, the back of it that has all the information on it. And in my head, I'm thinking he probably has to check with Home Depot and make sure that they have enough of this flooring in for the area that he knows he needs to refloor for me. You know, because what if they only have two boxes left, right? And I just assumed that I didn't have to tell him that because I thought, well, I don't have to tell him how to do his job, do I? And it turns out that he didn't, didn't find out if they had it in stock. And it came to the day before he's supposed to be here and I have him scheduled to do my flooring. And he lets me know that there, that's a special order and it takes seven days to get it in. I told you 14 days ago what I wanted. That kind of thing. Anyways. Okay, now I'm done. Now I'm done. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, so anyways. Um, I guess I understand what I need to do from this point forward. I'm sure I'm still going to have some frustration like that, right? And there's way bigger problems in the world. Believe me, I totally get that. I don't want to be like, oh, my little handyman doesn't do what I tell him to do. No. <laughs> we don't want to be like that. Anyways, so we have winners from Facebook Live yesterday. And I'm excited to tell you, I'm giving away two things. The Itty Bitty Christmas, and I know this is backwards. It just is what it is. We can't help it. And then this beautiful, beautiful kerchief card kit. You guys, these cards are so pretty. Um, winners, Wendy Morse from Apple Valley, Minnesota. This will be on its way to you Monday morning. Yay. Congratulations, Wendy. And then we have Marion Wilkinson from Waldorf, Maryland. You are going to get this beautiful stamp set. And I see Ruth Miller just popped in. Hi, Ruth and Vicki. Um, I will get these out in the mail on Monday, provided that we still have mail. Who knows? 
who knows where this is going, right? Then I wanted to show you what is going to be the prizes for everyone commenting tonight. So how do you get entered in the drawing? You need to leave a comment. So if you're coming on here, don't just be a lurker. Say, hi, Kelly. That's all you have to do. Or share, just like Ann did. Thanks for that share, Ann. Just say shared. Click on that share button and share this video. Like I said, that really helps me out. Um, tomorrow, we'll be doing a drawing from everybody that watches tonight. And don't forget, if you're watching later on YouTube, leave a comment on there, too. I've been going there and grabbing the names into the drawings also because I know everybody isn't on Facebook. You should be, but I know you're not. All right. This is what I'm going to be giving away. This was donated by Terry. She gave me a whole bunch of rolls of this really beautiful red ribbon. And I just happen to have a coastal weave embossing folder here. This is a beautiful embossing folder. This is going to be one item. I'll be giving this away. And then I have metallic baker's thread. Oh. This is a hot commodity because we ran out of these during celebration. So another person will be a lucky, lucky winner. A lucky winner of this little combo pack. And this is so fun. So many colors and it matches the birthday bonanza suite perfectly. So we'll be drawing for those tomorrow night. All right. I see Jane and Kathy and Jennifer. Kelly, I, I generally lurk. Uh, I'm assuming I can't win prizes. Yep, you can't win prizes in Canada, Jennifer, because it's just too much to send them there. Um, I think you have to do customs and the whole deal to send to can Canada. But thank you for letting me know, and thank you for watching. I know, I wish I could do more for my international friends. Because I love you guys. I have a lot of people watching from Australia and the UK. I know that. And um, I wish I could send prizes to you, but I can't. And thank you for letting me know that you're in Canada. And there's Ashley. She's also in Canada. We were just chit-chatting. Oh, which reminds me. We were just chit-chatting about our Welcome Easter kit. Now that button has been shut off. Those are the kits I'm working on today. Ashley and I talked about this, and due to the fact that people are locked at home, well, you know, we're not really locked, but we should be staying home right now, she wondered if it wouldn't be a nice thing to offer the pre-cut cardstock pack all by itself from the Welcome Easter kit, and um, I thought that was a really good idea, and we are going to do that. So, if you already ordered the Welcome Easter kit, you can order another pre-packed cardstock pack. Or if you didn't get a chance to get the Welcome Easter kit and you would like it, I'm gonna we're both gonna put the kit back out, and you can get the whole thing with all the little goodies in it. Now, I do not have this loaded up on my blog yet, and I don't know. Uh, Maybe I'll get a button out there to, tonight when we're done on my blog in the online classes. I'll make some type of an announcement about it. But if you would, if you already ordered the kit, you can get more pre-cut cardstock packs. There's enough cardstock cut, die cut, little piece of ribbon in there for um, to make all the cards. There's four different cards. You get to make two of each for a total of eight. And the kits will be $15.00. And hang on, I'm reading something. Thanks for keeping something else going. Um, Sandy says, "Do you? How do you know everyone's address when they win?" Well, Sandy, that's a great question. Oftentimes, I will private message people that I don't have their addresses for, but a lot of the time, I do have their addresses because they're customers. They either order online classes from me, or they order Stampin' Up product from me. So I can go into my emails and do a search for their name and I never delete my emails so their orders will come up whether it's an online class or product. And then I can find their addresses that way. That's a good question. But I sometimes I have to message people on Facebook. I'll send them a private message and say, hey, you won. I need your address. Or they'll hear their name and they instant message me their address. So, yeah. And Nancy says, you've been busy. Oh, yes, I have. I am, I'm still working just like normal. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I do. I'm kind of a workaholic. You guys didn't get that about me. 
I am. <laughs> okay, so I think I hear Steve lurking outside the door. Are you lurking outside the door? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, he's looking for warmer clothes. It's cold. <laughs> like I heard footsteps. So, oh, let's see who just said that. Lisa, are you looking for warmer clothes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm live. Oh. Yeah. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> Lisa said, thank you for being my sanity in the insane world. And I'm um, her happy place. And you know what? Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this craziness with us. And I do want to be someplace that you can come and have a little fun and maybe stop your worries about what's going on in the world right now. Um, not stop them, but give them a break. How about that? Let's give them a break. We all need to be concerned about what's going on, definitely. And we all need to do what we can to get rid of this and stay sane. And I'm starting to get a little stir crazy because... I am a lunch goer. What does that mean? I like to go out for lunch and I usually go out for lunch once a week, sometimes more. And um, of course I don't get to do that. And again, there's way bigger problems in the world, but that's just what I'm like feeling a little stir crazy. I'm used to being home all the time, but I'm not used to not being able to run here, there and everywhere. And so that's a little weird. And today Steve said, um, gosh, it's getting really dark to the northwest like we're gonna get a storm um steve said today he's like you don't even hear any sirens or anything it's like the dead zone out there and i'm like oh i didn't even think about it he's always complaining about those sirens we don't have any sirens and he's complaining <laughs> no it was just an observation that he made and i hadn't even noticed but it is it's creepy quiet outside i don't know i don't like it <laughs> okay I have some really cool cards for you guys to make tonight, for you guys to make, that I'm going to make for you and you can recreate. And um, I think we're ready to flip. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do some flipping here. Let me get my area cleaned up. Oh, did I forget to do this? That's not too bad. I usually get a new one out every time so it looks nice and neat, but I got a little bit of stamping on there. I think you guys will be okay with it, right? I think so. Okay, we're going to flip the phone. And um, yeah, Cheryl said she just saw the post about my daughter and son-in-law waiting for the baby. They have a granddaughter coming on the first of something. And I da, 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 lost your message here. Um, oh, here we go. The first of May. Well, good luck with that. I know Haley's getting really nervous that they're not going to let anybody in the hospital with her. Like um, me and Jared's mom, we're going to be in the delivery with her, delivery room with her. And now we're pretty sure that won't happen. But um, I've got all my fingers and toes crossed and I've been praying multiple times a day that um, Jared will be allowed to be in the delivery room. I don't understand why they would not allow him, but it's something she's really concerned about. And, you know, they're kind of one in the same, like, He's not going to give her anything that she doesn't already have. You know, you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't understand that. But they better let him in there because I will I'll lose it. And she said she will lose it. So let's get this over with before Weedley comes into the world. That's what I would like to see. Okay, ready to flip. Close your eyes. I don't want anybody getting motion sickness. Do you always like that little view up my nose? That's gross, right? <laughs> okay, I think I told you guys yesterday that I have a new host code right here. If anybody's placing an order and your order is under $150, use the host code. And if your order is over $150, please don't use the host code. Stampin' Up! will give you some rewards, and I want you to always have those rewards. But if your order is under $150, you don't get any rewards. And then you can use the host code, and that helps me order things to be able to give away, which is really helpful. Okay, so here's what I thought. And I've got some stuff already die cut, but we're going to be mounting stamps and things because I just wanted to get on live before it got too late, so I didn't have time to do all the prep work that I would normally do for a Facebook Live. So, Oh, and by the way, you can open your eyes for those of you that closed. 
Um, I decided to pull out my Peaceful Moment stamp set because I really like the saying in here that says, thinking of you with all my heart. Now the dies that match this um, set, both sets of dies are on back order. You can't order them right now, but both stamp sets are still available. And this, I love the fonts in this stamp set. And of course the greetings, you've got just about everything here you could possibly need. So the thinking of you with all my heart was kind of what I was looking at. And let's see, which one is it? Thinking of you with all my heart. I just thought that was really appropriate for cards that we may need at this time. And I'm still encouraging all of you, be making cards and get those cards out to people that you know are... Um, stuck, you know, stuck. They can't go any place. They can't do anything, which is pretty much kind of all of us, right? But there are some people that are alone and getting a card from you in the mail is going to make all the difference to them. Like they are going to be so touched. Okay. I'm going to <clears throat> hang on. I got to find my, my sampler. Ooh, Haley made this for me today. Yay. Yeah, she was working with the Country Club Suite. I'm not going to be working with that tonight. We're going to be using the Lily Impressions. Did you guys see my blog hop from Friday night? I made some gorgeous, gorgeous cards with the Lily Impressions paper. Let me grab them. I think they're, hang on, they're stuck. Yeah, these. This is the Lily Impressions paper, and aren't these fun? They stand up just like this. Beautiful, beautiful, right? This is the birthday Jubilee, and the Jubilee dies. I made a matching envelope. Ooh, I should do that too. And then we've got this one. Beautiful paper, right? How about if I get my light in here so I'm not making shadows all over and a gorgeous envelope. So this is my blog hop. There's a video on my blog. And again, you can always find my blog right here, www.estampabove.com. Just head over there. You just type that into where you would do a search on your device and it'll head right over there. So I'm kind of like, do you guys ever get into like, um... I don't know, a zone where you can't get out. So I was making cards with this paper for that blog hop. And so now I'm going to be using it again tonight because you kind of get a rhythm going with certain products and colors and whatever. And oh, I just love this paper. Now this paper is free with your $50 order by the um, if you order by March 31st. Between now and March 31st, you can get this. It's 12 by 12. This is one side, this is another, this is one side, this is another, and so on. And it goes with a gazillion different colors that Stampin' Up! offers. So, all right. Um, the other thing I was looking at was Thanks for the Laughs. And this is a great greeting set. It's in our spring mini catalog. And I thought, how did I get so lucky to have a friend like you? This is a really good greeting for cards that I would be making right now to send to people who may be stuck at home by themselves or even just a couple, like an older couple, send anybody, right? We don't need to, you don't need to figure it out. Just send cards. <laughs> so I thought this would be a good one to use. And then um, I often think about how amazing you are. I love that one. And then I like this, today you get it in writing. Isn't that sweet? I think that's just really cute. There's just some fun greetings in this set kept called Thanks for the Laughs. Okay, so we've got that out. Did I get this one out? What did I do with it? Oh my Lord. Did you guys see what I did with that stamp? Huh. Okay, let's get these mounted. It's probably stuck to something. Do you guys ever do that? Hang on. I'm just going to bring some more blocks in here. I'm going to put this one on here. This one will fit right on here. Then we've got a little one. 
anybody know where my stamp went? This is why we don't take them out of the case before we need them. You guys saw me take that out, right? Thinking of you with all my heart. Okay, I'm going to watch for comments. It is, is it on the back of your paper? Oh, maybe. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is on the back of my paper. Oh. You were a lifesaver. Thank you, Cheryl. That was perfect. Oh my goodness. I was like, what? Have you ever done that? It's very frustrating. Okay, here comes another. That's not really big enough, but this one is. Okay, now I'm not like going to cry or anything. There's no crying and stamping. Just know that. <laughs> okay, so I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. We're ready with this. Now. Here's what we're gonna do. I've got all these different layers cut with the um, designer series paper. This looks kind of goofy. I don't think that's a card base. Hang on. It is not. It is cut too small to be a card base. So I have to get out a real card base, which would be this one. Okay, is that right? Nope, that's not right either. Hang on. Third time's a charm. I gotta cut the edge off of this. It's kind of frayed. I must have goofed up. There we go. Whew. Jeez, I'm off to a rough start here, right? <laughs> okay. So this is Grapefruit Grove. And I chose this because it's one of the colors that coordinates with the paper. We're going to do our card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half. So here comes our card base. And then I wanted to use the designer series paper and I'm gonna be using both sides. So this is four by five and a quarter. And we're going to get some glue on here. And I'm gonna use this side. And isn't that just kind of stunning that this is like a pretty peacock shade this pretty peacock with the Grapefruit Grove. And then next, I've got a piece of Grapefruit Grove, two and a quarter by four, and then the Designer Series Paper Lily Impressions, two by four, and we're just going to add this. So this is a really classic, simple layout, but I think it really shows the beauty of the paper. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to add this right here. Oh, that was close. I'm going to slow down now. I must, I must be trying to go just a little bit too fast tonight. We're going to slow her down. Put the brakes on, sister. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Just pretty. And I would have never put these colors together, but because it's a color in here, the Grapefruit Grove, I just think it's stunning. All right, next, I've got, I also pulled out my Stitched So Sweetly dies, and that's these dies, okay? You get all of these stitched rectangles with scallop edges. You get these two little dudes, and then these two dies, which stack beautifully. I absolutely love them. Let me put those over there. I'm going to bring this in with dimensionals. Grab some dimensionals. Haley is learning where everything is in my office. So that's been a little challenging for her. I was in the kitchen all day putting kits together. She was in my office. I let her sit in the boss chair. <laughs> I think she liked it. Maybe a little too much, but yeah, it was cute. Okay. And this is a big layer, so I'm putting lots of dimensionals on it. And I'm going to just kind of put this right in the middle of my card. I'm going to show you. This is actually a design from one of my friends and team members, Sarah Simon. 
and I'll show you her card when we're done making these cards too. Hers is a teeny weeny little bit different. Okay, so I think what I wanna grab is Pretty Peacock, and then that doesn't fit. This fits beautifully. I'm gonna stand up. I think I got that crooked, you guys. Oh, I did really good. Okay, Whew. then we're gonna bring out our Lily set. And I've got some little flowers. There's a little flower here. I think I'm gonna use that because I think that'll look, that'll make a nice little accent. Get that mounted, and I think I want to do Grapefruit Grove for my flower. Let's see. I'm going to just stamp it here and see what I think. That's pretty, right? I think that's a pretty little accent. Okay, then we're going to add this to our card front. Ooh, my crown is falling off. Get back up there. I love the way these nest together. Like, I think it's such a neat look. Okay, now, Sarah's card needed one more thing, and that's where I'm gonna bring in my Stamparatus. So let's close this up. I'm gonna move these things out of the way. Hang on. And, um, I'm going to need Grapefruit Grove again. Now, this is how I set my Stamparatus up if I'm gonna be doing multiples. So, I've got, this just has a hole in it, don't worry about that. It Just pretend this is a solid piece of paper. I've got my paper right here. I want my flower to stamp right there. So I'm now going to close my Stamparatus, and now I'm gonna come in, ink it up, And stamp my flower. Now this is a crummy piece of cardstock. It's not a good piece of Whisper White. It's just a cheapo piece of crummy cardstock. Now I'm going to bring in my die and my big shot. Hang on, I got to grab it. Here comes the big shot because we're gonna make multiple cards using that die. So I like to set this up in my Stamparatus and use it to its full potential. Okay, here comes our flower. And now you wanna make sure that you get this on here perfectly. Don't want it to move at all. Here we go. Okay, that's what we're end we're gonna end up with. This is now gonna be our template. And if you guys watch me, you've seen me do this before. It's a pretty neat deal. Now you might notice that I've got tape on this piece of paper just to kind of hold things in here, especially with the photopolymer stamps, because they're real sticky, right? They stick to everything. So what I did for all these cards is I die cut the flowers. I just took these and die cut them. There's nothing on them. And now you can set them back in place right in here. This is like putting a little puzzle piece. Oops, hang on. It's like putting a puzzle piece back together. Set that right in there. I've got an ink pad under my plate because that keeps it straight so it's not slanted. It's just easier for me to ink it up. And then you take this and you stamp it. Look at that. Perfect. Now, we're going to do that. We're just going to keep stamping our flowers in the colors we need them as long as we've got this here. And then we'll make the rest of the cards. Using my chamois to clean. Sorry, I know I'm jiggling you around too. Here comes our flower. I'm gonna mount that on some dimensionals. Just like this. 
And we're just going to bring that, whoops, we're going to put it right side up. And we're going to put it right down here. Okay, isn't that pretty? Then, we need a little bit of bling bling. So I've got these enamel dots. What are these called? Um, hang on, i got to find a full pack of them here. Here they are. Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. We're going to use those to add a little bling to our card. Get my Take Your Pick tool out. And I'm going to go right here. And right here. And right there. Isn't that just a nice amount of bling there? I thought that was a pretty good amount. Now, I told you we're going to just keep rolling along here with our flowers. So my next card, I think I'm going to also, oh, I need pretty peacocks. So we're going to switch ink here. I'm going to bring my pretty peacock in. And I've got a pretty peacock flower that's die cut. Now again, you want to make sure you're pushing this up in the corner where it needs to be. Put this back in here like a puzzle piece. Ink up your flower. And stamp. To me, this is a lot easier than stamping and trying to get this to stay where it belongs every time and running it through. You can just really do an assembly line with this. And it works super, super cute. Okay. Now, next card, and we'll make this we'll make this card in a second. Just gonna set that aside. Here comes our next card, and I'm going to do lovely lipstick. And we're going to, again, see how this is slid out of the way? You, you need to push it back up in there where it belongs. Otherwise, things will not line up. Put this back in here like a puzzle piece. There's our lovely lipstick, Lily. Next is another lovely lipstick. So I planned that right, totally by accident. <laughs> here we go. Ink this up again. Okay, and as long as I'm thinking about this, um, we know that our red inks will um, stain our photopolymer stamps, right? So we have a cleaning pad. If that really bugs you, we have the stamp cleaning pad. Somebody contacted me about two weeks ago and they were having a problem with their pad. I don't think there's anything wrong with the pads. I just think maybe something might have been goofy with theirs. But the reason why I'm telling you is because I told them I would replace their pad and I have got the new pad, but I forgot to write the person down thinking that I would remember them and I don't. So if that was you, please email me and say, that's my cleaning pad that you told me you'd replace. Okay, because I really want to get it to you, but I don't know who you are. And I'm so sorry. I, you know, I think just when I think I should trust my memory, I shouldn't because it's a mess. All right, next, um, let's see. We're going to get this out of the way. Now, as long as you leave this in place on this plate, you can just continue to use this template. If you pull this stamp off, you're going to have to do this part all over again because it'll be in a different spot. I hope that makes sense. And that's why it's nice if you have a stamp apparatus to buy some extra plates. You can buy these plates separately so you have a whole bunch of them. Um, that's what I do, and I love it. So I do have a whole bunch of extra plates so that I can just leave things in place if I'm going to be making a whole bunch of these, or if I know I'm going to be using it again, I'll leave it there. If you don't have a stamp apparatus, you need one. These are $49, and you will love it. You will just love it. It's like the coolest tool ever. Okay, let's keep going here. So we've got this. Now we're going to stamp a little bit on the inside, and I used the um, pretty peacock and I put thinking of you with all my heart on the front and then 
I've got how did I get so lucky to have a friend like you I like that I think that's gonna be a nice greeting I'm gonna put that right here on the oh pfft. we'll try that again how about if we stamp the whole thing right there Woo! yay second time is a charm and then I'm thinking what else we have am I, oh no I'm like am I missing a flower where is that flower well it's red that's why I can't find it. I think this would look really pretty in there. So let's get that mounted. And then I'm going to do that in the Grapefruit Grove. And I think I'll just stamp it right down there. Good idea? I think so. All right. Uh, let's get this on the inside of our card. We're going to make the next one. Move these out of the way. Thank you guys so much. I see somebody said pretty card. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's really Sarah's design though, and I'll show you hers in a second. But I do love the little bit of bling on here. Very nice. Okay, next card is how about a lovely lipstick? So I'm going to have to clean these stamps in between. I'm kind of forgetting to do that, and I don't want to wreck any of my ink pads. Not that I couldn't fix it, right? I could, but... Okay, I think I got everything cleaned up here. Here we go. Okay, so now I've got lovely lipstick. Five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to fold that in half. And we're going to burnish that edge good. I kind of like to get it on my hard table so I can get, it, get a really good fold on there. And yeah, it is really quick and easy, right? Charlene says, quick and easy. You betcha. Now, here's another color combination that I would never, ever have done. And that is purple with lovely lipstick. But I think it's just striking. Isn't that really cool looking? And here comes our two by four inch piece of our Monet artsy fartsy. <laughs> Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. And we're gonna add that to this layer. Hold that up here. And then add it right over here. We've got this piece and this piece. Now, what are we gonna stamp on here? I'm gonna put my Grapefruit Grove away. I don't think I need that anymore. We'll see. Um, I could use this color, but I think I'm going to go with Gorgeous Grape. So let me find my Gorgeous Grape right here. And I'm going to stamp Thinking of You with all my heart again just because these are the kind of cards I'm going to be sending out this week. And I, my mom has a friend that I'm sure is locked in her apartment and can't go out. So I'm thinking I am going to send her a card this week. Just a, just a nice thing to do. And she'll be so surprised to get a card from me. But I'm sure she's going bonkers, right? I'm going to come in here and stamp this little flower right there. I'm gonna grab some inside card layers. Make sure these are the right side. They are. Size, I mean. And thinking of you with all my heart, today you get it in writing. I'm just gonna do that. Cause I think it's sweet, right? And then, oh, where did our stamp rolls go? Okay, I'm going to pull this off because I've already stamped up everything I need with it and I'm going to do this and then we're going to get some lovely lipstick on here. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Yeah, it wasn't my idea. It was Sarah's idea, but I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how pretty that is. This would be a pretty card front with those stamped in the corners like that. Oops. Here comes our inside. There we go. What are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I have, right? I'm boring. <laughs> I'm 
I'm so boring. I'm just such a creature of habit. Okay. I'm going to glue this on here. I got a little smudge of ink right there, but I think it will be okay. I don't think anybody's even going to see it. I'm going to get some more dimensionals out here. Oh, Robin says, thank you for the stamping tips for the Stamparatus. I love to use my Stamparatus like that, Robin. Um, and because I make a lot of swap cards, I had Haley using it today. I showed her the whole idea, and it takes a little bit of time to really grab the concept, but she loved it because um, she was making cards, like this is the golf um, clubs in the country club set. She was making, she put like five golf clubs on each card, and that's a lot. It's a lot to stamp and die cut and stamp and die cut, but if you can just die cut a ton of clubs on white paper and then throw them in that template, it's just so much easier. Now this one I'm going to pop up here a little bit so we have a little bit more room for our gorgeous flower. Now the other thing I wanted to, oh I should show you this. How about if we do this? I'm going to do this on the flower. We've got this image in the dies. Now I forgot to mention the dies. There's some really neat elements in here. These dies are free with a hundred dollar order and the lovely lily pad is free with a $50 order and the paper is free with a $50 order. So that's how you can get all of that. It's part of our celebration promotion. But I'm thinking that we should take a piece of the purple. So let me grab a piece of purple here. And we're going to die cut that with this flower because I think that'll be pretty. Hang on, I'm going to grab my little cutter. Make sure I got enough here. Yep. My little guillotine that I love. Okay, and I'm going to bring the big shot back in here. I didn't plan on doing this. So like I said, these these impromptu Facebook lives are going to be a little bit on a, a little bit of stamping on the fly because um I'm going to go to the darker end here. Because I'm not doing all the prep work that I would do normally for my Sunday night Facebook live. I like to keep that clipping along pretty good. But as long as we're just goofing around and having fun, I'm not spending as much time getting ready for Facebook Live as I normally would. Does that make sense? Yeah, you guys don't care, do you? It's like, oh, she's just rambling. My crown is falling off. I just push that back up. Okay. All those little pieces fall out really nicely. Look at, look at how pretty that is, right? Let's get some more light in here. There we go. Okay, now... I'm going to take that and add it to my flower. So hang on. Got my silicone sheet here. This is the way that I like to do the glue if I've got some really um, intricate pieces like this. It's hard to get glue on the back of there without having it squeeze all over. So just grab a sponge. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my lord, I love that too. Which side do I like better? I think, I don't know. I think I'm going to do the other side. Oh, it probably won't fit though. <laughs> yeah, it won't. I have to do this side. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just pushing some glue down on here. Now it's sticky. Bring that right in here. And then I did get a little bit of glue on the front over here. And as soon as everything is dry, I'll take my um, little eraser thing and get it off of there. But look how pretty that is with this dye. Yeah, I really like that. Just something a little different. All right, let me get this out of the way. And then we'll get some dimensionals on the back. I'm really using up a lot of these little tiny sheets that I have from classes. 
if there's only a few left, I throw it underneath my desk in this little basket that I have that has all my little stamping goodies at my fingertips. All right, and then we're gonna tuck this. You know what, I might be better off with a purple flower here, right? I think I would actually do, I don't know, or maybe, it just seems too much of the same color. Maybe not, maybe it's okay. All right, beautiful, beautiful card. Goes with this one, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I didn't put any bling on it, did I? Let's do that. So I brought out my Holiday Basic Rhinestones and also my Noble Peacock Rhinestones because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to go with. And I think I'll go with the, <laughs> that slid right over there. Diane says she love, love, loves these. Oh, Rhonda's got a brand new old fashioned. Rhonda, I love old fashions. I'm a Southern Comfort girl. I love Southern Comfort old fashioned sweets with olives. So yeah, I do like an old fashioned. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at the bling. So, so pretty, right? Okay, so there's card number two. Now, I'm gonna save the really cool one for the last one. Here comes another one. I'm using Pretty Peacock for my card base. And, oh, you know what? I think I might have forgot to cut a piece. That's okay, I will grab some cardstock. Hang on. I forgot to cut the two and a quarter by whatever piece. So I'm going to do this again. This is going to be, this is, how big is this? Is this? Yeah, this will be perfect. This is going to be four inches by two and a quarter. Perfect. Okay. Let me set that right there. All right. This is the piece that I forgot with this. Okay, so now I got this. I think I'm going to do this. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes it's painful <laughs> to cover up the, the floral side of paper, but sometimes you just got to do it. Here it comes. This is four by five and a quarter. And then we have the pretty Monet, beautiful artwork on the other side. And I'm going to add that. Oops, slid it around a little bit. There we go. And then we'll do this again. Yay! Here comes this one. So, um, here it is. Do, do, do. Let's do, what color am I going to use? I think I'll use pretty, oh, maybe I'll use the um, Grapefruit Grove again because our layer is going to be We'll see, we'll see what, what we like. I often think about how amazing you are. And this could go to a whole bunch of people that I know. Ooh, I like that, okay. And then we've got this little flower, which I did not clean. Oh, here's my, here's my cleaner thing, <laughs> chamois. Oh my Lord, get it right, Kelly. And, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with my colors. I was gonna say, should I go with a different color? We'll do that, and now I'm gonna do one up here too. This is a little smaller greeting. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Maybe I'll do a little bit more right over here. I don't wanna get too crazy with it. Yeah, that got a little close, right? I don't like that one, don't do that one. But it is what it is, and it'll be fine. But just one here, one over there would have been better. Live and learn. Okay, this is Pretty Peacock is my other layer with the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And here 
here comes some more dimensionals. Here we go. Oops, that one's already off. Here we go. Here we go. And last but not least. And again, I'm just going to kind of set this one not quite in the middle. I'm kind of moving it up a little bit. Just like that. Here comes our flower. Haley brought my scissors back, by the way. I think when I did my Facebook Live last night, Haley had taken both my pairs of scissors home. She did have both of them. Getting a little piggy on me. No, it was an accident. <laughs> I think I actually might have thrown them in her bin of the stuff that she took home. Okay, and then we need a little bling bling. So I think I'm going to grab the orange again from the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. Here we go. We'll put one right there and one right there and then a little one right there. Pretty, right? Okay, we need it inside. So I put, I often think how amazing you are and now I'm going to put, how did I get so lucky to have a friend like you? And I'm gonna use that Grapefruit Grove again I love the font on this. Like, I am a total font girl. Like, fonts are my deal. I love quirky, funky fonts. And here comes that lily again in from both corners because I just really like that look. This is what Sarah did to her card, and I just think it's so pretty. Okay. Card number three. Boom. Let's see if Kelly can open the card. There we go. You have to be smarter than your card. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that. It's like, oh my lord, you have to be smarter than your card stuff. <gasps> Look at that one. Pretty, pretty. Okay, next. Where did the cards go that I made? Oh, here, they're right here. Okay, next one, we're going to put, well, we might need that yet. We're going to put this away and this away. And I'm going to grab Granny Apple Green which just seems crazy. Granny Apple Green, eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to get that fold on there. Now, for this card, I'm gonna use the Monet flower side for all of it because I just love the striking difference in colors. Granny Apple Green, I thought, oh, Look how vibrant that is. And then there's Granny Apple Green in the card um, in the designer series paper. So we're going to add this to the front. Isn't that just like poof, crazy, crazy pretty? This one. I think I need to throw this bottle away. Well, there's still glue coming out of it, though. I hate to throw any glue away. But I'm getting tired of shaking, and I'm going to give myself a concussion here one of these times. <laughs> Pop myself in the mouth and get end up with a fat lip. But yeah, I just love this blue, and that pop of Granny Apple Green is crazy pretty. Okay, then. Let's see. Where'd my flower go? What color did I, I think, oh, this was the one that had the, yep, this is the one that had the lovely lipstick. So I'm thinking I should use lovely lipstick for my grading on here. And I think I'm going to do the thinking of you with all my heart again. So let me get that cleaned off. right on here. Yep, I really like that. And then I'll do one of these flowers over here and one right there. What do you guys think? Pretty? I think that's really pretty. Add this to our vibrant granny apple green holy cow 
So, so pretty. And then dimensionals. Let's see. Gosh, I've got a whole bunch of little pieces and edges. We'll use up these edges. Here we go. Oops, I got dimensional sticking to me. Boom. Boom. Barb. Barb says she doesn't send a card out until she looks at it the next morning. Barb, that's a lot. Like, that's a lot. I'm sure whatever you're making is super pretty. Be good to yourself and, and trust that you made something pretty. I look at my cards in the morning, too, but I certainly wouldn't say, oh, I can't send that out. Because, well, you know, we all make pretty things. Here we go. There's our flower. And now this time, what am I going to do? Da -da -da -da. I think this time I'm going to use those enamel dots again. And I'm going to use the lovely lipstick ones, and I'm going to put them right here. A little different, right? Now we need something for the inside. Thinking of you with all my heart, and rather than add something to the inside, I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put a sentiment in there, but I am going to add the pretty flowers in lovely lipstick. So, there we go. There we go. This will be beautiful. I can use this as an all occasion card. And it gives me lots of room to write because there's not a sentiment right in the middle of it, right? Yeah. Ooh, my stomach is growling. Did you? What did you guys have for supper? I didn't have supper yet. <laughs> Cindy's talking about supper clubs. Yes, I do love them. I love supper clubs. Like They're my favorite. They have the best, best, best food ever. Okay, let's close these up. One thing that I do need is I need to make some envelopes. Okay, here we go. Look at this. What do you guys think? Like, holy cow, we just made those all those cards and then decorate the flap of your envelope so you have some really pretty mail coming right look at that so so pretty now I told you I'd show you Sarah's card right this is Sarah's card she used the coastal weave embossing folder on a Bermuda Bay layer and then she used the stitch so sweetly. Um, the dies have a matching stamp set. That's where this big thank you fits right in there perfectly. This is completely her layout, just a little bit different. I use a different sentiment and I use the designer paper in the background, but so, so pretty, right? And then this was the inside. I often think about how amazing you are today you get it in writing. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So there we go, you guys. Lily Impressions, free with your $50 order. Then we have Lovely Lily Pad, and this is one of our reversible sets. So you can like stamp, you can use one side of the stamp, which is the flat side, to stamp a light color. Turn it over on your block. This is the detailed side. Put that in a dark color and stamp that. It's pretty cool. These reversibles um, give you double duty on your stamps. And then we also have the Lily Pad Dies free with your $100 order. And then I use the Stitch So Sweetly, which I've lost track of. They're here someplace. Um, I set them somewhere and I don't know where. Yeah, beautiful, right? I, I love it. I think this paper is gorgeous. I wasn't too sure about it at first, but then once you start working with it, it's so easy to create pretty things. And here's the two cards that I made last night if you came in late. These are on my blog. These were in a blog hop last night with the Creative Inking Design team. These sit like this. There's a video tutorial right here on my blog. Yeah. And this uses the Birthday Jubilee bundle. 
really pretty. That's the first time I've used it, so that was fun. Yeah, gorgeous, right? Oh, and after the video was over, I put the rhinestone in the center here. Like, that would have been genius, right, Kelly? Come on, think about it. <laughs> Do you hate it when you think of things? Well, you probably don't have this problem, but when the video is over, then I think of other things that would have been a great idea. That's, that's how it happens for me. But yeah, anywho. All right, you guys, I'm going to flip this around so I can see you again. I don't like talking to your back of your head. I always say I don't like talking to the back of your head. Now I can see. I see Pam is in here. Pam, you are so very welcome. Thank you for watching. We've got Bonnie Braden. Yeah, I love the envelopes too, Bonnie. Like, I've got a ton of this paper and... You need to use up your designer series paper. I know there's a lot of Stamping Up demonstrators that have really been on a mission to get people to cut the paper. Chop it, use it, chop it. There's all kinds of little campaigns going on. Paper has a shelf life. It's not going to get stale, but the designs will get stale. The colors will get stale. Um, these bright colors in two to three years probably won't be popular. We'll probably be into some other color, muted colors or something. Earthy tones will be the popular color. So when you're stamping, if you follow the Stampin' Up! trends with the in colors, that's a really good way to know what the trendy colors are because Stampin' Up! really keeps on top of that. And then our designer series papers are designed around the trendy colors. You want to get as much as you want, but use it. And then I don't want to hear anybody whining, saying, Oh my Lord, I have so much paper, I can't buy anymore, but I really want that paper. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> use the paper. Use the paper so you can get new, trendy, popular, in-style paper. <laughs> right? Yeah, thank you, Terry. I do. I love these. I, I, this one shocked me. Like the green with the lipstick and the blue was just like crazy. I would have never, ever, ever put these together. Not in a million years. But I just think this is very striking. It's going to make somebody very happy. And I think I need to send my mom another card. I sent her a card the other day. I think I'll send her another one. I tried to call her today. She must have been over at Rosie's house. So my mom lives out in the country. She's like, but, I mean, she's out in the country on gravel roads. This is how far in the country she is. But um, her best friend lives right across the street out in the country. So it's like you're driving along the road. There's nothing, nothing, nothing. There's a house here and a house here. So my mom must have been over at Rosie's house because I don't think she'd be going anyplace right now. She knows. She needs to stay isolated and stay safe. Hi, hi, Michelle. I'm happy to see you here. So, um, yeah, I tried to call her today and she wasn't home. And I'm like, well, that rascal, where is she? That's the name of her cat, so I shouldn't call her that. But anyways, Amy says she loves the Granny Apple one too. I know, right? It was like crazy colors. I do too. I think it's really pretty. Okay, you guys, my stomach is rumbling. I need to go find some food. Steve made venison stroganoff today and noodles. And so I'm going to go hit that because it looks delicious. And when I got up this morning, the whole kitchen stunk. <laughs> he was cooking. He had out his Instapot. He's all big on the Instapot. Like, I don't even know how to use it because I've never touched it. But, um... He had out the Instapot and he was cooking broccoli and he got that all done and then he was cooking cauliflower. Well, you know what a stink that is, right? I love to eat it, don't get me wrong, but it stinks when you cook it. And then he made the venison stroganoff and he puts the meat in the Instapot and, you know, pressure cooks it so that it's like, boom, um, really tender and I think he puts cream of mushroom soup in with it and oh, it's so good. And if you don't like venison, it's okay. You can put pork or beef or whatever it is you do eat in there. But we love venison. so. And um, if we get hunkered down in our house for a while, we have lots of meat in the freezer. Because we got, we got deer in the freezer. Yeah, so that's good. Um, all right, you guys. I'm going to stop rattling. I'm going to let you go. 
And, um, oh, somebody else had venison tonight. Anne did. Good for you, Anne. We're having, I'm going to go eat some venison right now. And I think there might be some chocolate chip cookies left. I made chocolate chip cookies yesterday or the day before. So I hope there's some left. One. I get to have one. All right, you guys. I will be live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time. I have absolutely no idea what I'm making. None. Like, not a clue, but I'll figure it out. And right now I need to go eat and finish those kits so I can have those ready to go in the mail Monday morning for all my kit people. Oh, yeah, and i got to put that kit information together. Uh, I'll get... I will get the kit information on my back on my on my blog. I'll post a link to it on my Facebook page so you can just click and go there. If anybody's interested, Ashley and I felt that it was important to offer um, just the cardstock pack if anybody wanted to order another set or they didn't have one. You can use your own supplies at home. My kits do not come with designer series paper. Um, the designer series paper is something that you need to have on hand or it comes in the kit. So I just want to let you know that. Sarah, thank you. Thank you for the beautiful card design. Sarah was just on here. I have been holding on to this card since you gave it to me and keeping it at the top of all my piles so that I could share this with everyone because I thought it was so pretty. Okay. See you later, guys. I'll be back tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Time, right here on this channel. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay sane. Keep a smile on your face. Make the best of this. Make some cards. All right. Bye-bye.